so hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you welcome back once again to another session of pib 247 in today's session guys we are going to do the pib news uh, from 29th and 30th june 2022 so as you all know there were no sessions last week so therefore we have a backlog but uh, all the backlogs will be covered you guys don't worry at all in today's session we are going to cover the news from 29th to 30th june and very soon i'll be cover all the backlog all right so let's begin with the session guys without any delay and uh, let's move ahead to the very first question but before we begin if you want to have the all-round preparation of all the government examinations you can download the energy in the lab from the google play store all right let's talk about the very first question very very important question consider the following statements with respect to second phase of goal program and you have to identify the correct statement now what is this goal program goal stands for going online as leaders right what is the full form going online as leaders and it is a joint initiative of ministry of tribal affairs and meta and meta is nothing but facebook i hope you all know this now let's talk about this news remember ministry of tribal affairs which is headed by mr arjun singh munda which is headed by mr arjun munda and arjun munda's lok sabha constituency is khunti which is in jharkhand right so this ministry has launched the second edition of going online as leaders which in short is goal program now the second phase of this program aims to digitally upskill 10 lakh youth across the country by promoting entrepreneurship amongst tribal communities of the country. All right. And as I already told you, it is a joint initiative of Ministry of Tribal Affairs and Meta. Now let's talk more about this news. So remember, uh, through this program, the goal beneficiaries, Joby beneficiaries, honge, they will have access to Meta Business Coach. They will have the access of meta business coach which is nothing but a whatsapp based learning bot and this whatsapp based learning bot which is meta business coach will give the participants an opportunity to learn skills okay an opportunity to learn skill and what type of skills are these on how to build and grow their business using social media apps like facebook instagram and whatsapp all right and the program will also include facebook live sessions in nine different languages by master trainers on various topics like like how uh, the beneficiaries can uh, use this session for anti-scamming education, staying safe online, how to combat misinformation, etc. Right. So this is all about the second phase of goal program. I hope this is clear. And now let's come back to the question. It is a joint initiative of Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment and Meta. Is that so? No. It is the joint initiative between Ministry of Tribal Affairs and Meta. Right. So this statement is incorrect. Through this program, the identified goal participants will have access to Meta Business Coach, which is a WhatsApp based uh, learning bot. So this is correct. No problem with this. And it aims to digitally upscale 10 lakh youths by promoting entrepreneurship amongst the tribal communities of the country. So the, this is also correct. And we have to identify the correct statement, which means option B. Only two and three guys will be the correct answer. So I hope this question is clear. And now let's move ahead to question number two. Consider the following statements with respect to 23rd edition of Handicrafts Export Award and you have to identify the correct statement. These awards are given away by Ministry of Textile which is headed by Mr. Piyush Goel. And Piyush Goel is also the Minister of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution and also the Minister of Commerce and Industry. And he is also the leader in Rajya Sabha as well. All right. Now this 23rd edition of Handicrafts Export Award, let's talk about this. The objective of this award guys is to create a sense of healthy and wholesome competition among the exporters so that they uh, so that they can be motivated to export more and more right the awards were announced for two years that is for financial year 2018 and financial year 2019 right for the year 2017-18 that is financial year 2018 there were 61 winners while for financial year 2019 there were 65 winners and the awards have been given in four categories of top export award, product group wise awards, regional awards and women entrepreneur award. And of course, you don't have to remember the name of the awardees because there are a lot of awardees 61 for the year financial for the financial year 2018 and 65 for the financial year 2019. So that is why you don't have to remember the name of the awardees. This much information is enough, right? And now let's come back to the question. The awards have been given for the year 2017-18 and 2018-19. Bilkul sahi baat hai, there is no problem with this statement. There were 65 winners for 2017-18 and 61 winners for 2018-19. This is incorrect. In fact, 61 for financial year 2018 and 65 for financial year 2019. Alright. 
and the awards have been given in four categories. No problem with this statement. This is correct. Which means option A. Only one and three guys will be the correct answer to this question. I hope this question is also clear. Moving ahead to question number three. With which countries uh, Ministry of Trade and Industry? With which countries Ministry of Trade and Industry, Government of India's Department of Science and Technology has signed an MOU for cooperation in the fields of science, technology and innovation. So everything is there in this question. You just have to identify the name of that country. Remember guys, the name of the country is Singapore. The name of the country is Singapore and this MOU has been signed for cooperation in the field of science, technology and innovation. And this MOU will provide a mechanism and help in creating an ecosystem that will promote innovation and entrepreneurship in both the countries, not only in India, in both the countries. And the activities included in the MOU are two. Number one is the product development and number two is the technology exchange. And these two activities will lead to generation of new enterprises and employment. All right. And these are the priority areas you, which you don't have to remember at all. This is just for the basic understanding that what are the priority areas under this MOU. Agriculture and food science and technology, advanced manufacturing and engineering, green economy, energy, water, climate and natural resources, data science, emerging technologies, advanced materials, health and biotechnology. All right. That's it. And as I already told you, the correct answer to this question is Singapore. All right. Option B is the correct answer. And now let's move ahead to question number four. With which international agency Union Cabinet has approved a strategic partnership agreement signed between Ministry of New and Renewable Energy and that agency. Now this ministry is headed by Mr. R.K. Singh and R.K. Singh is also the Minister of Power, Minister of Power and his Lok Sabha constituency is ARA and ARA of course is in Bihar, right? So this international agency guys is International Renewable Energy Agency, I-R-E-N-A, uh, uh, IRENA and this agency is headquartered in Abu Dhabi. It is headquartered in Abu Dhabi and this MOU has been signed. This strategic partnership has been signed to drive ambition, leadership and knowledge on green energy transition based on renewable energy in India. So basically government of India has a target of 500 gigawatt energy, right? And for this, this MOU has been signed. And as I told you that this partnership will support in India, support India in achieving its ambitious target of 500 gigawatt of installed non-fuel fossil electricity by the year 2000. 30. All right. And of course, India has a target to become carbon neutral economy by the year 2070 as announced by the Prime Minister Modi during COP26. All right. And therefore, the correct answer is option B, International Renewable Energy Agency headquartered in Abu Dhabi. Option B is the correct answer. Now let's talk about question number five. Consider the following statements with respect to Coalition for Disaster Resilient Infrastructure CDRI. Very, very important question and you have to identify the correct statement. Now, why this is in news? First of all, the question is this, is that something new? No, it is nothing new. It was approved by the union cabinet in the year 2019 and it is located in New Delhi. It is located in New Delhi, CDRI, right? So why it is in news then? It is in news because now the union cabinet has approved the categorization of CDRI as an international organization, right? Now CDRI will be an international organization and there is one more approval of signing of the headquarters agreement with CDRI and this will grant it the exemptions, immunities and privileges under section three of under section three of United Nations Privileges and Immunities Act of 1947. All right. So that is why it is in news. CDRI will become an international organization now and headquarter agreement has uh, also been sound has also been signed. Right. Now talking about CDRI, so remember it was launched by Prime Minister Modi during the United Nations Climate Action Summit in 2019, which was held at New York. And remember, it is the second major global initiative by the government of India after International Solar Alliance. It was five, it was uh, given approval in the year 2019 and its secretariat, as I told you, is in New Delhi, right? Uh, for its establishment, government of India gave uh, rupees 480 crores as support. And this, this amount served as a corpus for CDRI to fund the technical assistance and research projects on an ongoing basis. And since 2019, since its launch, 31 countries, six international organizations and two private sector organizations have joined as members of CDRI. And that is why government of India, the union cabinet has 
given its approval uh, for its categorization as international organization all right and this categorization will provide it an independent and national legal persona so that it can efficiently and effectively carry out its functions internationally and as i told you it will be granted exemptions immunities and privileges under section 3 of united nations privileges and immunities act of 1947 all right i hope this news is clear and now we have to identify the correct statements cdri was launched by prime minister of india during united nation climate action summit in 2019 at new york no problem with this statement union cabinet has approved the categorization of cdri as an international organization this is absolutely correct and it will be granted exemptions immunities and privileges under section 5 of united nations privileges and immunities act of 1947 that is not section 5 guys that section 3 all right so this statement is incorrect which means option a only one and two will be the correct answer because we have to identify the correct statement okay and now let's move ahead to question number 6 as for the ministry of commerce and industry headed by piyush goel india's marine exports has recorded an all time high in the financial year 21 22 the question is which of the following marine products has retained the top position in the terms of export in financial year 22 financial year 22 mein sabse zyada marine product kaun sa tha jo ki export kiya gaya right so it is in news because of course the question has already told us that India's marine export has recorded an all-time high in the financial year 21-22, and it reached worth 7.76 billion dollar, which is approximately 58,000 crores. And among all the uh, marine products, frozen shrimp, frozen shrimp remained the major export item in terms of quantity and value. And talking about the countries, which countries में सबसे ज़्यादा export हुआ तो USA. USA was number one. USA continued to be the major importer. followed by china european union south east asia japan and middle east all right that said itna hi padhna hai isse zyada is not important and therefore the correct answer is frozen shrimp option a will be the correct answer and they can ask you they can also ask you the largest importer in that case the correct answer will be usa all right question number 7 pe chalte hain very important again union cabinet has approved the computerization of pscs which is primary agriculture credit societies This project proposes computerization of about how many functional PACS over a period of five years. ठीक है कितने functional PACS का computerization किया जाएगा? Now these PACS, what are these? These are the grassroots societies. These are the grassroots societies which provide credits to the farmers. ठीक है loans to the farmers. All right. This is the tier one. Uh, these are the tier one societies which provides loans, which provide credits to the farmers for their agriculture, for the agriculture purpose. Right. and now the union cabinet has approved the computerization of these pscs and this has of course been done for increasing the efficiency of pscs right and bringing transparency and accountability in their operation in the upcoming 5 years about 63000 functional pscs will be computerized and this this uh, this computerization will have rupees uh, will will cost rupees 20 2000 uh, rupees 2516 crores With government of India share of rupees fifteen twenty eight crores. All right. Now you must be wondering what is the need of computerization. So very basic question and very basic answer. PSCs constitute the lowest tier of three tier short term cooperative credit in the country, comprising of approximately thirteen crore farmers as its members, and it accounts for forty one percent of KCC loans given by all the entities in the country. The other two uh, tiers, which are the state cooperative banks. and the district central cooperative banks have already been computerized by nabard and brought on common banking software and there is no such mechanism for pscs till now and hence to enhance the efficiency of pscs this computerization is needed and to and keeping in mind this thing the union cabinet has approved its computerization all right so therefore the correct answer guys will be 63000 option d because 63000 functional pscs will be computerized over a period of next 5 years all right option d is the correct answer moving ahead to question number 8 which ministry has signed an mou with ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship which is headed by mr dharmendra pradhan who is also the minister of education right to create a collaborative ecosystem for imparting skill development training in the capital goods sector now let me tell you the answer this ministry is the ministry of heavy industry which is headed by mr mahendra nath pandey Mahendra Nath Pandey 
एंड हिज लोकसभा कंस्टिट्युएंसी चंदौली चंदौली इज इन उत्तर प्रदेश राइट सो दिस मिनिस्ट्री है साइन एन एम यू विद मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ स्किल डेवलपमेंट एंड ऑन्टरप्रेनरशिप टू क्रिएट अ कोलाबोरेटिव इको सिस्टम फॉर इम्पार्टिंग स्किल डेवलपमेंट ट्रेनिंग इन द कैपिटल गुड सेक्टर ठीक है फॉर इम्पार्टिंग स्किल डेवलपमेंट ट्रेनिंग इन द कैपिटल गुड सेक्टर दिस एम यू हैज बिन साइंड एंड दिस पार्टनरशिप इज एम डैट फैसिलिटेट इन ट्रेनिंग इन सेवरल इंजीनियरिंग ट्रेड्स थ्रू क्वालिफिकेशन पैक डेवलप्ड बाय सेक्टर स्किल काउंसिल्स ठीक है प्लीज डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज ये जो पार्टनरशिप होगी इट विल फैसिलिटेट ट्रेनिंग इन सेवरल इंजीनियरिंग ट्रेड्स राइट द ट्रेनिंग विल बी प्रोवाइडेड इन इंजीनियरिंग ट्रेड्स थ्रू क्वालिफिकेशन पैक्स एंड दीज क्वालिफिकेशन पैक्स विल बी डेवलप्ड बाय सेक्टर स्किल काउंसिल अंडर अ स्कीम व्हिच इज नोन एज स्कीम फॉर एनहांसमेंट ऑफ कॉम्पिटिटिवनेस इन द कैपिटल गुड सेक्टर फेज टू और राइट That is it. इससे ज्यादा डिटेल में जाने की जरूरत नहीं है एंड ऑप्शन ए मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेवी इंडस्ट्रीज हेडेड बाय महेंद्र नाथ पांडे इज दी करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन पे आ जाते हैं विद विच ऑफ दॉलोइंग इंस्टीट्यूट क्लाइमेट सेंटर फॉर सिटीज विच इन शॉर्ट इज सी क्यूब एंड इट इज अ ब्रांच ऑफ नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ अर्बन अफेयर्स विच इज विच वर्क अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हाउसिंग एंड अर्बन अफेयर्स हेडेड बाय हरदीप सिंह पुरी राइट हैज लॉन्च इंडिया फर्स्ट नेशनल कोलिशन प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर अर्बन नेचर बेस्ड सोल्यूशन टू कम्बैट दी क्लाइमेट चेंज to combat the climate change all right so you have to identify that institute remember the national institute of urban affairs climate center for cities cq in partnership with wri india which is world resources institute india has launched india's first national coalition platform for urban nature based solution and it was launched at 11th world urban forum which took place in poland all right now why this forum why this coalition platform has been launched what is what are the objective so the very important thing that it will communicate the benefit of nature based solution intervention in tackling the in tackling the challenges associated with the climate change or you can say to combat the climate change right it will drive investment and strengthen the delivery mechanisms through multi stakeholder coordination right and it will help in policy formulation regarding combating the climate change all right it will provide nature based solution right in policy formulation as well and this forum is led by nius c cube and anchored by wri india under cities for forest initiative it is supported by caterpillar foundation department of environment food and rural affairs of united kingdom and norway's international climate and forest initiative these facts are also very very important do remember this all right and therefore the correct answer is what guys world resources institute india option b okay and now let's talk about question number 10 where has the department of pension and pensioners welfare organized the pensioners awareness program the first physical program post pandemic covering the southern region of the country and of course as the name suggests it is an it is an awareness generation program of pensioners pensioners ke liye awareness generation program hai and it took place in puducherry option b is the correct answer and there is no details required in this question option b again is the correct answer and guys the last question for today which ministry has onboarded itself on pm gati shakti portal with the help of bhaskara charya national institute of space application and geo informatics very very important question however it will be asked in one marker but yes one marker bhi ek ek question aadha aadha number important hota hai exam mein right This ministry, guys, is Ministry of Steel. Option C is the correct answer. And the newly appointed Ministry of Steel, Minister of Steel, is Mr. Jyoti Raditya Sindhya. And the newly appointed Ministry of Minority Affairs is Smriti Irani. Right. So option C is the correct answer. All right, guys. So that's it for the session. I hope all the questions and their explanations are clear. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. If you want to have the PDF of this session, you can join the Telegram channel. The link is provided in the description. I will see you in the next session goodbye take care and god bless